Morning folks. Been raining all day today. I got this awning up. Amazing the lengths you'll go through to <laughs> keep from having to clean out your fur shed. I got to do it though because I need the wood stove in there. But uh, the lighting is better out here. So if I can get this uh, wolf I got. If I can get it fleshed outside, and then I'll take it inside, and it'll be better off in the long run, really. Um, for a lot of years, I've been using this chunk of naga hide as an apron. You kind of want, when you're fleshing, the, your, your fleshing beam is kind of against your chest, and uh, it'll end up making you all greasy if you're not careful. So this, this rubber type of naga hide was perfect for that. I didn't realize it split. Well, I had a big old greasy spot on my chest. So, <laughs> I guess that one's done. So I ended up, of all things in the world, making one out of a car floor mat. It looks pretty stupid, I know, but it ought to work, huh? <laughs> I don't know. The I'll have to order one, I guess, through the uh, taxidermy supply or whatever the the trap supply companies there. But I don't have one today, so I have a car floor mat. It'll work. Don't laugh. I hear that. Quit laughing. Today I parked this in a little bit of a low spot. The driveway comes up a little bit here. That adjusted that beam just about perfect. I think I will cut it off and uh, try to make that adjustable though. So the other day after I got done with those beaver, I did this wolf here. And wolves take a long time to do because you have to turn their ears inside out, which is time consuming. And you have to skin out the feet which is really time consuming. It's not warm enough in this greenhouse here for this to dry. I need to fire up my wood stove in my trapping shed and put him in there. But for now, at least he's out of the rain. The, um, the video I did taking care of those beaver, time you see this will probably be a couple days from now but the, the video I did taking care of those beaver uh, YouTube gave me the yellow dollar sign <laughs> which means limited ads limited money basically no money and it sounds kind of mercenary I know but the biggest reason I ever started this YouTube stuff is that my job doesn't pay very well and uh, if I can make a couple of bucks doing this, I'm doing it anyway. I might as well film it and uh, put it on YouTube, make a couple of dollars. But YouTube, <laughs> they don't like red. They don't like the, the animals and stuff as far as processing them. So anyway, I'm not going to show this wolf because wolves are touchy subject anyway. So, Thank a liberal. That's really the basis of it, guys. I know some folks will maybe get offended by that because they are one. <laughs> but this whole woke thing, it's getting out of hand. Today was chicken butcher day. The last time I we did this, I had a little bit of it on YouTube and <laughs> YouTube doesn't like stuff like this very much, so I didn't show much of it, but uh, it's kind of a kind of a long job actually. The, we had 16 of them and a turkey to do, and it's most of an all-day deal. So anyway, they don't like I say they don't like red very much. So I'm gonna turn this to brown again and hope they allow it. Today was chicken butchering day. I'll bet the rest of these girls pick up the pace on the egg production now. 
Cindy had, I think, 16 meat birds that we bought for this. And uh, they don't lay eggs much anyway, so the, they taste good though. So we got friends that come over, and uh, some of them are theirs, and uh, they help, to, help do all the dirty part. You know, it's funny, all the kind of disgusting things they do and whatever... I don't like birds. The inside of birds, I just thought they don't they don't smell good. <laughs> I'd rather mess with skunks. But uh, I'm glad they don't mind gutting them and stuff. But so the the scalding water, it looks pretty disgusting now from all the, the dirt that was on the chickens. But that needs to be right about 148 degrees. And then we have this thing that I made. It's a chicken plucker. Oops, the, she thought it got it unplugged. Anyway, it just spins around, flings all the feathers off. We put the chicken down in the barrel like that, and then it catches most of the feathers. It's still quite a messy job, though. There's all over the ground everywhere. Yeah, we got a bunch of them in here, and a bunch of chicken gizzards here, and they're in there quartering them and cutting and wrapping. I'm glad I don't have to mess with that. You did all the killing. <laughs> I didn't. Come on here, by Get in here. So we mind. had a we had a good crew. They we, did most of the work. Watch these, watch these, these gals that have all socks. this blood on them. Yeah, <laughs> really. <laughs> Look up, Cindy. Oh, here's, okay. here's all the happy chicken pluckers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. What do we end up doing? Eight, 16, 18 of them and a, and a turkey. Yep. What a mess. Yeah, what a mess is right. <laughs> <laughs> okay.